Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. How wonderful that phrase just fits so perfectly together to make my first grade self feel so good. Too bad it was a lie. Words do hurt. And they may be birthed from our mouths with the most careful fabrication of intent, but they just have a funny way of circumventing a man's skin and bones and muscle and flesh and getting right to his soul, killing the life that he had so tenuously hanging there in the first place. No wonder God gave us a new command. Speak slow, speak light. See, the Bible says our words can cut like the sharpest of knives, so I'll say it again in case you didn't catch it the first time. Speak slow, speak light. The writer of James asked, can both fresh water and salt water come from the same spring? How can we say things like, praise God, hallelujah, Jesus is king, but then say things like, she's kind of chubby. He's kind of slow, yeah. She'll do whatever the guys want. I mean, whatever. I don't know. I mean, do you really think you can sing? That's a real stupid dream. I mean, do you know anybody that has ever helped a homeless person find a job? Don't hang out with them black kids over there. That's how you get robbed or stabbed or murdered. You're a Mexican, which means you're only good as a low paid worker. Why would you ruin your life by getting knocked up at the age of 15? Don't you know that nobody's gonna wanna marry you now, no matter what you say? How can you call yourself a Christian when you dress that way? God can never love anybody who calls themselves gay or bi or trans. I'm scared of them white kids over there. They clicked up like the Klan. Must be nice to be rich and pretty. Why are you complaining? Your life must be perfect. I guarantee you that girl over there is not a virgin. They're like an ill-advised surgeon. Our words. With our words, we praise our Lord and Father, and at the same time, we speak curses over human beings that have been made in God's likeness? Yes, that's the overweight girl, the dude that's cognitively impaired, the untalented girl, the dude that's socially unaware, the black kids at your school and the ones that go to the bad neighborhood, the immigrant kids whose parents just want to give their children something good, the pregnant girl who's needing the church to rally around her, the gay or lesbian guy or girl who is profoundly searching for the answer, the rich and pretty chick whose dad is dying of cancer and therefore her life is not perfect. It hasn't been anyway. And even if that girl isn't a virgin, how is that your business anyway? These are all of God's creations. So are you and me. We speak blessings and curses. Brothers and sisters, this should not be. So speak slow, speak life. A lesson from James 3. Be alive and be free.